Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel, Fire Falcon Tarot. This is going to be a quick bonus for you guys for the remainder of April. And so let's just jump right on in. What's this message that we have for my Virgos for the remainder of April? Expect a powerful change. We have a new moon eclipse here. I like it. I like it a lot here, Virgos, for you guys. So you guys are looking forward to some type of change in your energy here, a shift in your vibration. A shift in whatever you guys are expecting to have a change here so this could be expecting a change in a job this could be expecting a change in a career path this could be you guys expecting a change in your living conditions or living situations what I'm hearing as well too but you guys are anticipating this powerful change here all right with the um, remember guys we are mercury is still retrograde here until the 28th of April we just had a powerful eclipse moon which was in the sign of Scorpio which is all about transformation all right the death card energy as well too all right um so this doesn't necessarily represent a physical death okay for some of you guys it very well could don't necessarily have to be but it also could just symbolize again something that is definitely moving out of stagnation is what I'm hearing here is also transitioning for you guys all right let's see sure if I want to take these here. So run into the divine. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sag. You guys could be dealing with the Sag. You don't necessarily have to. Could have that placement in your chart or as a Taurus energy as well too. Uh, or a... Listen, Virgo, this is definitely you guys. You're pulling your own energy here. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And we also have prosperity lies ahead for you guys as well too here. So a lot of earth energy happening for you guys. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well too. I'm seeing that here. Don't necessarily have to be. You could have a Aquarius rising is what I'm getting here. But spirit is definitely wanting you guys to focus on a giving energy and not necessarily a taking energy as well. All right, meditate and contemplate at the bottom of the deck here. All right, we got new moon in Pisces. All right, so you guys can be dealing with any of those signs as well too. Pisces is very um could have a Pisces moon for some of you guys, Virgo. Okay, or it could be a Pisces rising as well too. With that being said, here Pisces, it, it's emo an emotional state. Okay, Pisces definitely. They could be. You could be. So you guys could be also with this um, moon as well too. This moon energy that we are actually having transition as well too. It could also have you guys feeling very, very emotional, okay? Within yourself, within your uh, your significant other. So you guys could, you know, be in, expressing emotions here a lot. You guys could be crying, okay? Or just feeling really sensitive, doesn't make you weak it makes you human okay uh we have the six of wands here coming out it is in the reverse here so you guys are feeling like something was unsuccessful for you guys or that maybe maybe you guys are feeling like you failed at something as well too here yeah with the queen of cups here it could be a breakup for some of you guys as well but if it is a breakup then listen rejection is protection baby okay with the star card energy here at the bottom of the deck and the two of cups for sure the page of wands for some of you guys you could have been finding out that someone maybe got posted online here with the queen of cups here mm. all right star card here aquarian energy here is also did not say aquarius here when i said the powerful change part um it also could just be representing here an exposing energy here so if someone hasn't been i'm hearing someone's being outed yeah the tower so if someone hasn't been outed yet they are about to be here with the seven of pentacles here yeah damn damn with the surrender to divine the divine here virgos is what it's giving me here so don't necessarily have to be a relationship for most of you guys but majority of you guys it is with the queen of cups here the queen of cups also is a an emotional energy here it is also someone is gonna you may be really angry with yourselves too for not listening to your intuition here as well too others of you someone could be trying to just simply block your intuition here 
with the tower energy here i feel like your intuition is spot on i feel like you guys are doubting it here or like just flat out not listening to it with the tower energy but remember again rejection is protection here so whatever is about to be exposed or be shown to you guys here it's all for your good um and it may not seem like that at first initially here but it is this is why spirit has look at the bigger picture here we also have five cards out here on the table as well too so this is time for a big change for your life uh virgos as well too so just keep that in mind all right it will sting it will hurt of course for sure but at the end of the day it's like wouldn't you rather find out now than like 16 years from now or like 20 years from now 30 years from now five years from now you understand what i'm saying here um keep your cool the king of swords is coming out here in the reverse here all right there's no need to add um, excuse me they're they're saying add fuel to the fire here so surrender to the divine here with the full moon here all right Sure, you're going to be angry. Sure, you're going to be bitter. Sure, you're going to be frustrated here. But with the Tempers card coming out with the King of Swords in the reverse here, it's like Spirit is encouraging you guys to um, essentially just drop down and think, thank God, thank, thank Buddha, thank Allah, thank your angels, your ancestors, whatever you guys resonate with, right? Because they are, they love you enough to allow you guys to see this, you know, some of you guys, this is also you guys going to be witnessing someone else's karma as well, too. It is also, it's kind of giving me like, um, and I've been referencing this a lot lately in a lot of the readings here that I have been putting out here. It's also giving me Exodus here, too, as well. So it's like, um, when the when the emperor um basically of egypt at that time you know he gave the order to drown all the hebrew male babies in the the nile you know what i'm saying and that was so that they wouldn't basically outgrow the egyptians you know because they were multiplying the 400 years that they were enslaved so it's like someone wants to do on to you like it's like something's gonna be done on to someone else that they wanted to have done on to you you know what i'm saying and it was like the that's what the whole passover basically represents or symbolizes here i don't know i'm not trying to be all like super spiritual on the channel here however it is a spiritual channel it is about healing it is about enlightenment is it is about ascending here um and connecting to not only your higher self but your creator right uh, so I guess it kind of is, uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, the point that I was, tr that I'm making here about this story here, it was simply, um, the Passover just represented like, you know, the, all the opportunities that, you know, God gave for the Egyptians to surrender, to submit, you know, to the divine, to, uh, understand that you know you may think that you have control over you know your life your your destiny or whatever the case may be but really um it could it could be given and it could be taken away like a thief in the night and so basically that's what the passover represented it here because the egyptians not necessarily the egyptians but their ruler was so adamant about proving you know his power his dominance that you know he was god like no one was more powerful than basically him and his empire and his kingdom and his dominion um and that basically i told you guys that he wanted to kill all the hebrew babies so this is like i said this could be someone that could physically want to cause harm towards you guys don't necessarily have to be i mean but with the king of swords in the reverse this is it's a violent person right this is someone that could be very very physical could be very aggressive could be very very violent here this person actually has a sword in her hand right and a sword behind them so and this person does have the ability to lose emotional control, emotional balance, okay, of of their uh, themselves, okay. It looks like a hot-headed, a hot-tempered person, 
All right, someone that's easily angered is given that as well too. All right. Um, yeah, the Eight of Cups is a someone that spirit is leading you away from. Okay. All right, so let's see. But at the end of the day, and it's like, what the point that I was making here about the Egyptians and the Hebrews, right? So that was the order that the Egyptian God basically gave, right? And so when God gave the order that, okay, well, I'm going to come in and I'm basically going to do unto you what you were trying to do unto mine, which you were trying to do unto my family, unto my children, unto my followers, my believers, whatever the case may be. So the Passover symbolizes basically, you know, we don't celebrate, you know, we don't celebrate the loss or like other people's sorrows, right? Based on their own, their own, you know, their own blindness, right? Their own inability to surrender to the divine. So it's like, what do you expect is going to happen? Do you think God's just going to continue to sit back? Um, I mean, yeah, for some time, right? Because he's a patient God, right? But it's like when time is up, time is up, right? And that's exactly what the Passover represented here. That was the final plague that ran upon Egypt in so many ways. Anyway, so this could be something here that's similar to that that energy that I'm referencing here, right? There, there's there's going to be a time here where, you know, you are going to be pulled out of this situation here, like there is going to be change here. Yeah, with the four of pentacles here, God is going to come in and rescue you, save you from, you know, whatever this, you know, unhealthy energy is, whether this is going to be a... Uh, a shake up in the foundation in some type of way here that is going to enable allow you guys to break free of this um bondage type of mentality here yeah justice at the bottom of the deck here doesn't necessarily have to be but it could be dealing with the taurus doesn't necessarily have to be could be dealing with the libra again um yeah your prayers are going to be answered here with the star card on out the deck for you guys here virgos all right All right. All right. Let's see. Yeah, the magician here. All right. There is definitely something that you guys have been praying for, asking for, wanting to, again, have change, bring it to your reality here. This is going to happen for you guys. So whether this is a change in, like I said, living conditions. I don't know why I'm hearing conditions here, but I'm getting conditions. Uh, but... This could be job related. This could be significant for you guys in con any kind of way here. You guys are probably feeling like you don't have this ability that you guys want to have. What unstable here that I just saw. But we just have to remember to look at the bigger pictures here as well, guys. All right. Yeah, we got Divine Man shooting out here. Capricorn energy, we have one knee. We do have a Taurus here as well. Capricorn. Alright. So this Capricorn was this King of Swords energy here that was very aggressive towards you guys here. This Capricorn Taurus energy here. No job. It showed itself here. Alright, come back to me. We have baby coming out the deck as well. This person could... Uh, we have big truth here, which is basically my Ace of Swords. So this person wanted to... Probably, you know, probably you probably have children with this individual here. 1404 is on the clock here. Um, it's given like this is the kind of, not only you're, are you going to become with child or adopt or fur baby, whatever this is with your divine counterpart here. Okay, when that time does come, I do see that energy happening for you guys as well too. Um, but I also see that this could have been someone that wanted to bind you to them with children here or something like that here yeah a dirty offer mm, i can't make it up here uh yeah dirty offer here it's 
this is someone that makes offers here because they are a wolf in sheep clothing here and like this individual this is how they maintain their sense of security here okay uh we got looking you up we got stalker here yeah they this is a, someone that like what they call it like look for people here stalking watching obsessed we got looking you up researching you studying you getting information here so someone is uh getting the scoop on you literally like they know that you make good money or they look at the kind of job that you have and what is the potential earnings for someone in that career fair we got wolf and sheep clothing here i can't make it up this is definitely a dirty offer here giving money here so this is could have been someone that basically came in because they saw you were vulnerable basically i'm sorry to say it but they took advantage of you guys or someone is definitely trying to all right anything else here for virgos so this is what spirit is bringing in the powerful change here they're tired of this person using you guys abusing you guys whatever karma balance and justice again all right you could have had a miscarriage with this person as well too i did pick baby up kind of in the reverse here got ace of water pisces cancer scorpio this individual could be one of these zodiac signs i'm gonna say have to be all right this person could have just simply pretend to love you guys all right we got avoidance and we got a stalemate at the bottom of the deck here. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, control and we got tactics here. Whew. Let's clarify this ace of water here. Closed off, guarded, and resistance here. Yeah, this someone don't love you. They don't love you. They again spy, watching, inspecting here. I don't like this here. I don't like it one bit. Someone could be spying on you guys like through like a real life telescope here. Like, I don't know if y'all can see this because the car is really dark. But there is, if you guys have the what's the T deck, like there's someone there, they have like a yeah, it's a rifle with a scope. All right. And this person is in like a abandoned building or a house or something like that here. And they're like, they got you in, in sight. So be very mindful. Be very careful here. Like someone is not, yeah, wrapped too tight here. Now this could be like your past person. It could be a Capricorn devil energy for sure. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> Let's go here, and then we're going to wrap this up here. All right, Virgos. Last messages here for my Virgos. Be present. Yeah, pay attention to your surroundings. Oh, my God. Look, pay attention to the signs. Oh, my God. Pay attention to the signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences, okay? So, Spirit is also trying to get you guys' attention here through these synchronicities. All right, we got... Law of Attraction it says you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. So this is going to be an obsessed past person that you guys are walking away from because the love of your life is coming in here with your divine man. So if you got divine man, truth, one knee, you got to be a divine woman or vice versa. Uh, we got balance. There needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be suitable so this is what you guys did not receive this is what was not happening here in this past connection possibly present connection for some of you guys all right it wasn't healthy it wasn't balanced it wasn't it ain't what you want all right it ain't what you want uh let me let's see here it, it definitely gives a little chaos chaotic energy here with the stalker heavy 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 stalker energy here virgos either you're a stalker or you got somebody stalking you baby okay I, I, I'm, I'm really getting this a pisces but it could be anybody could be anybody could be this capricorn god damn it let's not act like they the fuck weird they they the fuck weird all right capricorns are weird um, the un the unhealed ones, they every energy is, is weird. It's not healed, right? But I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Tell you guys. Let's see what's going on with the gentle chaos here for Virgos. Let's uh, the curtain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you got somebody looking through the curtain, man. Tell you guys. 
All right, it says the yellow angel trumpet, all right? And we got the chocolate rabbits. Don't you just love the chocolate rabbits for Easter? I can't do that kind of stuff anymore here. Like, it's too it's too rich for in the chocolate-ness, the chocolate-ness-ness-ness-ness for me. <laughs> all right, but anyways, oh, the wedding day rose. So this is saying, um, I know this deck semi, well but the wedding day rose definitely means that um it's okay to reflect on you know past memories um you know situations things but it's like don't don't stay in the past right it's okay to reflect and think back about things you should overcame this that, and the third i love when i open a deck and it's right to it right the yellow trumpet all right it says there's magic here in a yellow in a yellow angel trumpet to have a name that calls to heaven, but to be a flower that can soon death. I'm sorry, that can summon death. Excuse me. But to be a flower that can summon death. So you guys have the ability to summon death. That is cool. Um, it says to be just a fragment of an alluring as you are a toxic as you are toxic i feel like i'm butchering this please forgive me guys it says to bloom with your back to the sun but still adopt to this inner inner glimmer i cannot read i'm tongue-tied here it says that is dark magic if i've ever known her all right so there is someone that is doing low vibrational things here okay all right, it says the yellow angel trumpet is a reminder that things are not always what they appear to be. It is a great it is great to trust and love, but don't always do it so easily, all right? So spirit is saying be mindful, watch your back of people that you let into your space, okay, here. And this is why. See what I'm saying here? Like this person is a weirdo. So, and I feel like the divine has been trying to give you guys the signs and synchronicities here, but for some reason, you guys ignored it. And I get it. Not not pointing the finger, not blaming you guys, not yelling at you guys, because you guys may have felt like it was, you know, could have been, it had potentials, right? It had potentials, but this ain't the person. All right. But anyways, let's keep it moving. Uh, the chocolate rabbit says, in time of uncertainty, the dazzling lights, the cold blue Midwestern sky, a window display for a neighborhood for me. The chocolate rabbit is a reminder to look for small pieces of magic. I almost said Pisces. It's a Pisces for some of you. I'm telling you. Reminder to look for small pieces of magic, even in dark times, to seek comfort in community and selfless acts. All right. In other words, Spirit is saying, share your chocolate rabbit that you got for Easter. All right, hopefully you still don't have that chocolate rabbit from Easter. But for those of you that do have anything that's worth sharing, Spirit is just saying to share. Sharing is caring. All right, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. The April Mystery Box giveaway has not taken place yet. I will be making a post about that tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, follow the prompt on the message. Ciao.